Back to the topic, we are no stranger to here on The Morning Show. Research continues to show much of our health is directly related to what's happening inside our gut. Registered dietitian Andrea Hardy joins us this morning to give us some tips on how to build that healthy gut biome to keep us feeling great. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, let's start right at the beginning and maybe break down for everybody if we could, Andrea. Gut health, what is it and why is it so important? Right, so it's 2024 and you're going to be hearing a lot about gut health this year. Uh, but I'd say it's a pretty ambiguous term for most people. Carolyn and Jeff, when you hear the word gut health, what do you think of or what does it mean to you? Well, for me, it's a, a non-rumbly tumbly that, uh, that <laughs> everything Ryan? just feels good, feels <laughs> right down there. Uh, when I think of the gut <laughs> and things moving properly, I, I feel like we're, we're regular, hopefully. <laughs> Right, yeah, absolutely. So when we think of gut health, we used to think of it as just the absence of structural disease, like celiac or inflammatory bowel disease, but you guys hit the nail on the head. Gut health actually encompasses a feeling of digestive wellness or our guts feeling good. And that's really important to people. And we've seen a rise of digestive disorders like irritable bowel syndrome. So more and more people are looking towards taking care of their gut health. And for them, that really is about reducing symptoms. And so when we think about reducing symptoms, I brought some of my son's Lego blocks to talk a little bit about how we can describe it as building blocks. So of course, at the base of gut health is good nutrition. Um, and of course, everything we put into our bodies, our body digests and uses that energy uh, to keep us healthy, but it also regulates our digestion. And the number one thing that helps to normalize digestion is of course, fiber. And so really focusing on getting enough fiber in the day, 25 grams for women up to 38 grams for men is really important. So getting in things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains is going to help us to hit those fiber targets and normalize that digestion. So that's really at the base. And where do we go from there? Yeah, so the second layer would be things um, lifestyle-wise. So those other impactful things that can influence digestive health. So I like to think of them as three things. So the first one is getting enough sleep. We know that sleep directly impacts how we perceive our digestion. In fact, we know with shift workers, those that work overnight, they actually have less digestive wellness and more digestive symptoms than those who work during the day and sleep during the night. So prioritize and getting enough sleep is key. Um, the second thing with that is uh, movement. So if your goal is to get into movement in 2024, we want to pick movement that is good for our digestion. Um, so people that run really long distances, like do marathons or do long bikes or do high intensity interval training, they might notice that they're exercise impacts their digestion. And so moderate uh, intensity physical exercise is really kind of where we want to be. Uh, if you do those things, that's great, but you just might have to be more mindful of how you're going to manage any symptoms that come up related to exercise. Um, the third thing, of course, is the tough one. It's stress. Uh, and so stress directly influences how we perceive our digestion. Stress is a really tricky thing in that our brain and our gut are highly connected and when we're stressed, we can tend to perceive more issues with our digestion. And so working on our stress levels through mindfulness, uh, through all the other blocks is really important to digestive wellness. All right, Andrea, let's say that we have done all of this and those are some great tips, but we're still not feeling as good as we think we should. Is there anything else, anything else that we can do? Yeah, so a lot of my patients that struggle with irritable bowel syndrome might be doing all of these first two levels of basics and say, hey, I still have some residual symptoms. Where do I go from here? This is where we can look to non-pharmacological things. So for example, one tool we can use is a probiotic. 
And so probiotics, like Align Digestive Support, can help with digestive symptoms when taken daily for at least four weeks to really feel the digestive difference. If you're still struggling with symptoms, there are a ton of other options you can discuss with your doctor or dietitian that might include over-the-counter things or might even look towards medication to really help manage those symptoms. But if you're feeling like you're struggling, don't feel like you have to do it alone. Uh, your medical team can definitely help you to uh, relieve some of those symptoms through a variety of different options. All right, and we want to remind everyone at home that you can take part in the Healthy Gut Team Up by visiting alignprobiotics.ca where you can find a special high value coupon to try Align Probiotics for yourself. Andrea, thank you so much for these great tips. Thanks for having me. This portion of the morning show is brought to you by Align. Learn more about improving gut health at alignprobiotics.ca.